let us pray. What a great and mighty father you are, oh God. The people in their languages and tongues worship and offer their lives. Lord, of all that we have, you have given to us, we have come with this little, appreciating this day. Thanking you for our primate and your church. Thanking you for these ones that you have renewed your mandate. Thanking you for those you have given a fresh mandate to go into the feed. Lord, from the heaven of heavens, be gracious to thy people. That when we set out from here today, we shall return with thanksgiving. For your church has asked through Jesus Christ our Lord. Notices. We want to acknowledge my father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, that I am, that I am, the same yesterday, the same today, the Lion of Judah, the one that cannot fail. The one that has never lost a battle. If it's your father, shout hallelujah. If it's your savior, shout hallelujah. If it's enough for you, shout a better hallelujah. To him alone be all the glory. Please be seated. Let me acknowledge very comprehensively the leader of our national church, the Archbishop, Metropolitans, and Primate of all Nigeria, and Mama Nigeria, the Most Reverend Dr. Henry Ndukuba, and Mama Angela Ndukuba. Thank you very much, Papa and Mama, for your magnanimity and love and the spirit of accommodation that we have seen so much in your life. The Lord that has begun a good work with you will bring it to completion in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me also congratulate and welcome the T.R. Robert Dean of our church and Mama, the most reverend Dr. Blessing Eyinda and Mama Enyinda. Thank you very much for joining us in this service. Congratulations, sir. We will appreciate you. I must also acknowledge the outgoing dean of our church. You have heard when the registrar read that five-year term only. And so we want to thank and appreciate the most reverend doctor and Mama Buba Lamido. Thank you very much for the services you have rendered and you continue to render. The newly presented Archbishops of Kaduna, our Father, the Most Reverend and Mrs. Timothy Yaya and Mama Kaduna. Thank you very much, sir. And of course, my own Archbishop, Papa, the Most Reverend Doctor and Mrs. Michael Olushino. Fakwe. You are welcome, sir. I want to acknowledge two other primates of the church, not of, not of Nigeria, the primates of West African Anglican Communion is here, all the way from Ghana. The most reverend, Siri. Kobina Ben Smith. Please, Papa, can you please come? Please come, please come. My primate has said you must be here, sir. That is the primate of the West African Anglican Church all the way from Ghana. And he came with his assistance, the venerable Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
I bring you greetings from Ghana. Just this week, from Monday to Friday, His Grace, my big brother, sent one of his bishops, the Bishop of uh, Shuka, Bishop Agbo, to lead our retreat. He led the retreat for the bishops of the Anglican Church of Ghana. And we were so blessed. <laughs> Baba, thank you so much for sending him to us. And we are discipled completely under his banner. When we finished the retreat, that was on Friday, Saturday, Saturday morning, then something, the Spirit told me, if my brother is having the consecration for four bishops and presenting two archbishops and a new dean, then I will come. I will come and worship with you. So we got on the flight this morning, Ghana at 7.45, and we got here. By the grace of God, we have joined and we have seen, and we are so happy. God bless you. And I pray that our fellowship and friendship grows from one level of favor to another level of favor. And that we will claim the whole of West Africa for Jesus. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are welcome. You are welcome. In the same way, we have the primate of African church. Our father, who happened to be at the time a classmate with the bishop of Lagos. While they were at Lagos State University. I have the pleasure to introduce to you the most reverend doctor, Julius Abe, the primate of African Church, Nigeria. You can do it better. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. I'm so happy to be here today to felicitate with our brothers who have been um, consecrated as bishops, as well as those who have been presented as um, archbishops of the Anglican Communion and also the dean of the church. I'm happy to be here and I pray that the good Lord will continue to be with this church in Jesus' name. We also have with us retired archbishops of this church and also retired bishops in their numbers. And we must acknowledge one time Dean Emerito of our church, Archbishop of Lagos for many, many years, the most reverend doctor and Mrs. Ephraim Adebola Ademowo. The Lord will continue to renew your strength and you will continue to grow from one level of grace to the other in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to welcome all other archbishops that are retired and those that are still serving. We want to acknowledge your presence, so numerous to mention. And because of few other things we must attend to, we welcome you in the name of the Lord. And pray that your journey back home today will be protected. Amen. Let me also thank chancellors of our dioceses that are here. We have a rail of chancellors here today, ranging from dioceses of Lagos, Lagos West, Lagos West, Mdoka Dioceses, Kaduna is here, Koko Edo, Chancellor, Registrars, they are all here. But let me acknowledge the registrar of our church, Barrister Abraham Yisa. Papa, thank you very much for coming and for other people. I must appreciate 
the governor of our state. We have two governors in Nigeria, Lagos State and others. I will expect you to clap better than this. Our governor, Mr. Babajide Olu Shola Shawolu, is not here, but he's here represented by his better half. Our mama, Dr. Mrs. Ibijoke Sanwolu, and the primate has graciously given us a few minutes for her to just say hi to you and give us the message from the governor of our state, Mr. Babajide Olushola Sanwolu, Dr. Mrs. Ma. We can do a better clapping for the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. And his mercies endure forever. For the Lord is good. 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 And his mercies endure forever. Thank you, church. Today is a very special day for each and everyone present here today. We're witnessing history and we thank God for being here today. It's not by our power but the special grace of God. I want to acknowledge, in not any particular order but with a lot of respect, the hosts that invited us here, the Archbishop Metropolitan, the primate of Nigeria, and his amiable wife, Most Reverend Henry Ndubukuba, and his amiable wife, Mrs. Angela Ndubuka. Thank you very much for inviting us. And then I go back. The distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Otumba Benga Daniel, the former Deputy Governor of Lagos State and her amiable husband, Princess Adejoke Orilupe Adefulera, the Secretary to the State Government, Barrister Abimbola Salu Hundei, the Chief of Staff, Mr. Tayo Ainde, the Deputy Chief of Staff, Mr. Agben Boyega Shoyonwo, the former Head of Service, Prince Shagun Ogunlewe, the wife of the former Archbishop of Lagos, and the Archbishop of Lagos that has been mentioned here, right, um, retired but not tired, the most Reverend Ufrim Ademawa and Mrs. Oluroti Ademawa. All other clergymen here present, the Committee of Wives of Lagos State Officials, Officers of Defense, the Police, the Army, families and friends, learned colleagues, the Congregation of Archbishop Viney Memorial Church, the youth and the, the choir, the elders in the church, we remember you, the celebrants, the people that we're celebrating today, the newly consecrated bishops and their wives. Thank you, um, Mama Angela, for putting emphasis on the wife. I saw how you said, go and go join your husband, go and join your husband. <laughs> the Bishop of Ajay Crowder, Collins Olufemi Babalola, the Bishop of Undukwa, Festus Uzoka Uwakfili, the Bishop of Lagos, our own Bishop, Bishop Ifedola Senasu Okuperi, Bishop of Akoko Edo, Ebenezer O Saiki, our Dean, the Most Reverend Dr. Bishop Blessing C. 
Enida and his amiable wife, the Archbishop of Lagos, Most Reverend Dr. Michael O. Fakwe, the Archbishop of Kaduna, Most Reverend Dr. Timothy Yahaya, and all our bishops that came from the different parts of West Africa, you're yeah, most welcome. Thank you, sir. I bring the, gre the greetings of our governor to you. Sorry, sir. The goodwill message delivered by Mr. Babajide Olushola Aduragbe Misongolu, Governor of Lagos State, at the consecration service of the Venerable. <laughs> at this consecration service, of the Venerable Ifedola Senasu Gabriel Okubevi as the ninth Bishop of the Diocese of Lagos, Anglican Communion, and our other bishops that were consecrated today, the Dean, on Sunday, 27th August, 2023, at the Archbishop Viney Memorial Church Cathedral, Ikeja, Lagos. It gives me great pleasure to join members of the Diocese of Lagos, Anglican Communion, to witness the consecration service of all these bishops. Sorry, I will need an assistant here if you don't mind. Sorry. <laughs> yes, sir. New chapter in the history of Lagos Diocese. It is great joy indeed for the entire diocese and the good people of Lagos, most especially the Egun people of Lagos, for having our own son for the first time becoming the Bishop of Lagos in the Anglican Communion. Today, what shall we say unto the Lord? All we have to say is thank you, Lord. We thank God on behalf of Lagos Diocese for his grace and mercy during the entire home call of the immediate past Bishop of Lagos and Archbishop of Lagos Ecclesiastica Province. As we celebrate the consecration of another bishop, it is of great importance that we remember our adoration missioner, Most Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi, Olumakaye, may his gentle soul rest in peace. May I, on behalf of the government and the good people of Lagos State, congratulate our new bishop on his consecration today. To be consecrated is a critical component in our relationship with God and with those in the world. A consecrated life is one that is set apart and totally sold out to the service of God, deploying time deploying talents and worldly position, possessions to the cause of the church to further the Lord's interest on earth. Given your antecedents and faithful commitment to the service of God and his church, I have no doubt in my mind that you will make a positive impact in upholding and promoting the mission and vision of the diocese. Your consecration today is a testament of your many years of service to the church and your community. I pray that you will continue to be a shining light to the diocese and contribute your quota to its growth. I urge you to always remember the importance of love, compassion, and justice that the church is known for, which will always help us in building a better future for Lagos. I am without doubt that you will lead God's people in accordance with his will and plan. As we welcome as we welcome Bishop Okupevi into his new role, let us renew our commitment and dedication to the kingdom service by being a good example for others to emulate. As I conclude, I wish to assure the new bishop of the support of our administration, especially in the area of promoting mutual understanding, in the area of promoting mutual understanding and respect among the various religious adherents in Lagos State. Lagos is well known for religious tolerance and harmony. We will continue to sustain this atmosphere for inclusive growth and development. In line with the goals and objectives of our administration's theme plus development agenda. As I congratulate all the bishops once again 
on this day of their consecration, I wish them a fruitful reign and peaceful administration of their seed. May your reign be peaceful, full of progress, and greater achievements. Your household will enjoy the favor of God, and your heart desires shall be met. Let me appreciate the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, the Primate, all bishops, especially the Bishop of Lagos West, and the Supervising Bishop of Lagos, Right Reverend Dr. James Olushola Odedej, for your doggedness and unrelenting spirit in administering your own seat and see, and in addition to see Lagos Diocese. I also acknowledge all the planning committee members, clergy in the areas, and members of the church. We have indeed made history today. May the joy of today's celebration usher in unprecedented progress and development for the church, our state, and our country. I thank you for inviting me to be part of this history-making event. May God continue to bless the Diocese of Lagos, the Anglican communion as a whole. Thank you, and God bless you all. Your governor, Mr. Babadide Olishola Aduragbemi Sonwolu, governor of Lagos State. Please let's clap for her. Thank you very much, Ma. She has equally assisted me to greet many other people. Let me acknowledge a few other chancellors of our various dioceses that are here. The Chancellor of Ijebu is here, who is also my parishioner in this diocese. Also, the Chancellor of Rema is also my member here. He's also here. We appreciate Baba Ogun. Let's see, and Papa Timuni, the Lord will bless all of you in Jesus' name. Let me also acknowledge somebody very special to the church and to the community, Our Excellency, Mrs. Adejoke Uri Lope Adefo Lire, and her husband, Papa Adefo Lire. The Lord will bless you more and more in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to acknowledge also the man that conducted the retreat who also preached at this service. Our highly referred father and one of the heroes of faith, the most reverend Dr. and Mrs. Joseph Akinfe Nwa. Please put your hands together for Papa. Thank you very much. We'll appreciate you. I've also been told to acknowledge the ACNN president, Sir Fulu Olamiti. Thank you for coming to join us here. We want to acknowledge the distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He identifies with the church, not only when he was the governor of Ogun, but even now as the minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Otumba Benga Daniel. Thank you very much, sir. We'll appreciate you. Finally, let me acknowledge good people of the first diocese in Nigeria, the diocese of Lagos, to this place. Your bishop was ordained when he was 25 here, and today he's being consecrated the bishop. He's to let you know that this building that we want to start this week, we go build them together. You can see some of the inconveniences we have all engaged in today. The project of republishment will start this week. And I want to call on you all. If the Lord has laid it in your heart to be part of the building, I have seen the completed building. I can imagine the completed building. I can see a bigger edifice. When it will be completed, you will not be at the graveyard. So let's join hands together and see to the completion very, very shortly. That is the message. Good people of Ajayi Crowder Dowsis, we welcome you. Good people of Ndokwa Dowsis, we welcome you. Good people from Akoko Edo Dowsis, we welcome you. I thank the local organizing committee, Dr. Oluto Nyokewo, Brother Sheyi, Oshunkeye, Sister Gladys Talabi, and all other brothers and sisters 
for the job well done. They have acknowledged the choir, the best choir in Nigeria, the choir of heavy MCC. Give it to them anywhere they will perform. The Lord will bless you exponentially. I appreciate the guild of sewers, boys' brigades, security men, those who have contributed in no small mail to the success of this service. The Lord will see to your going out and your coming in. Let me just inform that the primate will want to meet with the Church of Nigeria Pilgrimage Committee just after this service. What I'd wanted to say about the reception venue is that wherever the people continue to go, you follow them. But some have sent to me, with the permission of the primate of our church, the dean's reception will be at Bola Memorial Anglican Church, Unigbagbo, very close to Sheraton Hotel there, after this service. We want to also appreciate one of our fathers who is already taken over by God in all that he does. He puts God first. He's also here with us. I'm talking of no other person than Chief Wale Ola Nikpekun, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Please put your hands together for this man. When you sit down with him, you will think that he cannot talk. But when he speaks, you will see what the Lord has deposited into that small head. The Lord will bless you, Papa, and he will spare you for many, many years in Jesus' name. Amen. For Lagos, of Lagos Dowsi's reception is Vining Hall. Vining Hall. That was where he had his reception when he was ordained in 1988. Bishop of Ajayi Crowders will be at the back of the altar. Akoko Edo and Bishop of Ndokwa. After the service, it will be at Adetiloye House. You will be directed to Adetiloye House. It's at the back of this church. And they are expecting us all there. Please, I can see so many other faces. Timba and Kaniba, Iroko, Maugani. They are all here. From all spheres of life. Please look at somebody beside you and say, thank you for coming. Tell somebody else, God recognizes you. And tell him it will continue to be well with you. And finally, just smile to him or her. Smile. The Lord be with you. May I, on behalf of the archbishops and bishops of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, appreciate the executive governor of Lagos State one of our own. Please let us appreciate him and Her Excellency for your hospitality and being involved and supporting the work of the ministry of the church. The Lord will go with you and the Lord will bless your administration and greater works you shall do in the name of Jesus Christ. May I also appreciate the Lord Bishop of Lagos West Dances and Mama Lagos West for being there for the Church of God. Your hospitality, mobilizing your people, everybody being at work to make this a great success. But not just this. Your labor of love in supervising Lagos dances. In fact, somebody, a layman, shared with me that what really impressed them is the sense of contentment that you have and service to God, sacrificial service to God. And we thank God that you have done it so well that everything is ending in praise. The Lord will bless you. Amen. We want to thank Mama Lagos West. Thank you so Certainly much. Certainly must not have been an easy task for Bishop 
Dr. James Odedeji of Lagos West. Who are being replaced today by the consecration of the new bishops. The late Archbishop of Lagos, the late Bishop of Ndokwa, and the late Bishop of Akokoedo. The Lord will grant his servants perfect rest in the bosom of the Lord and they shall rise in glory with all the saints at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so we congratulate the newly consecrated bishops of Lagos and Ndokwa and Kukuido and your wives as you go into the labor of the kingdom the Lord of the harvest will go ahead of you. Amen. You will make success of this ministry Amen. and glory will be unto the Lord our God. Amen. We want to also appreciate our Father in God, the most reverend Joseph Akinfewa and Mama Akinfewa for leading them in the retreat and also for bringing the word of God we are indeed very grateful. The Lord will continue to bless you, your family, and your ministry and diocese in the name of Jesus Christ. We appreciate all of you, our fathers in God, our revered fathers, especially our retired fathers. You look so young and so amiable. The Lord will continue to renew your strength day by day in the name of Jesus Christ. And we appreciate the Archbishop of the Church of the Province of West Africa, my brother, the Most Reverend Dr. Ben Smith. You are welcome. You are welcome. God bless you. And also the Archbishop of the African Church. It's wonderful seeing you with us. The Lord will continue to bless you and your family and the African church and your ministry to the church of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Your graces, the archbishops, and my Lord bishops, and our mamas who are here, we thank you. We thank you for coming. Mama Nigeria, we appreciate you. Thank you. We appreciate all our brothers and sisters from across this country and beyond who have come for this celebration. As you go into the world and into the lepers of this week, may the Lord go ahead of you. As the Lord brought you here safely, he will grant each one of us traveling mercies and you will return to your home and people and the things you have left to be here you will return in peace and joy in the name of Jesus Christ we appreciate our legal luminaries uh, we appreciate our legal luminaries and officers of the church we are indeed very grateful God bless you all in the name of Jesus. We purposely asked the Archbishop of Enugu province to celebrate this communion as a, a farewell service to the church because after September, uh, eh? January, anyway, after September, the other time we will meet is to say uh, goodbye. So uh, we welcome you and we appreciate your service to the Church of God. 
And uh, we are looking forward to meeting in September at Newi uh, because we shall meet and then by January next year, he will take his leave. God bless you. Thank you. Let us appreciate him. He currently serves as the, the Archbishop of the Ecclesiastical uh, Province of Enugu. General Synod comes up 12th to 16th at Newi Diocese. Please, we ask of your prayers and we ask that as you come, come ready to serve God and his church as we celebrate the faithfulness of God in the 14th General Synod of the Church of Nigeria. May God bless his church and bless the ministry of his people in the name of Jesus Christ. We shall process out in reverse order and we will take those presented and those consecrated as usual with their wives. But before we do that, the, uh, the color party will come and uh, match out the color after we have done the benediction. The Lord be with you. Let us rise up as we take the doxology. Let us pray. We give you hearty thanks, Heavenly Father, for being with us in this worship service, for helping us by your Holy Spirit, and for guiding us in this service of consecration of bishops and the presentation of the Archbishops and the Dean of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. We thank you for safety on the road as we came. We thank you for your words that has come expressly to us. Grant, O oh Lord, that the words which we have heard this day with our outward ears will by your grace be grafted in our hearts. And by the help of the Holy Spirit, Help us to bring out and bring forth the fruit that will honor and glorify you. And Lord, as your servants go forth, may your presence go with them. Amen. May their journey be in safety. Amen. And you, God of peace, beat down Satan under our feet Amen. and give us protection and victory on every side. This we pray, asking that you bless the ministry of the newly consecrated bishops and the presented archbishops and the dean of the Church of Nigeria, that through their service, your church will grow from strength to strength and your kingdom will enlarge and your word be proclaimed faithfully to the ends of this world. So Lord, watch over your people and bless them. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Go forth 
into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Render to no man evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord. Rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. And may the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you now and always. to love and to serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. The Boys Brigade march out the colors. Formally ended. However, the remaining formalities have to be carried out. The colors will be marched out. Being a national service presided over by the primate of the Church of Nigeria, the colors have to be marched out. The colors are the national flag of Nigeria. The flag of the Church of Nigeria and the flag of the Boys Brigade. As the Boys Brigade play the song in the banner of his love, we march forward. The Boys Brigade and the girls guild of the Church of Nigeria are supposed to be training grounds for discipline and spirituality for the young ones in the church. And it is notable that the primate of all Nigeria rules through all the ranks of the Boys Brigade. So he's always fascinated when he sees the Boys Brigade display. Processing out here is on page 42. Page 42. The new bishops will be held by one of the archbishops along with their wives as they recess out of the cathedral. It is notable today that those who are consecrated are
are going back to unique dioceses. Bishop of Abba. It's a long, beautiful procession of Archbishops because the Archbishop of Ghana follows closely, Archbishop of the Church of African Church follows, and then the serving Archbishops of the Church of Nigeria. And taking the rear of that are the Archbishops, retired Archbishops. I can see Archbishop Adeyemi. Of course, um, Bishop Odedeji, the host bishop is right behind the procession of the archbishops. We now have the officials of the Church of Nigeria, the legal team, the Honorable Justice Oyebanji, who read the lesson. She is the Chancellor of the Diocese of Lagos. Behind her is Barrister Dr. Ibrahim Isa M.O.N., Registrar Church of Nigeria. We now have the procession of the bishops of the Church of Nigeria in order of seniority. The procession of the bishops is always a colorful and beautiful ceremony in the complete ceremonial regalia of the Church of, of the Bishops. And we have quite a number of them who have made it to this occasion today. And today, it's been a celebration of Anglicanism by the Church of Nigeria in every way. Today's occasion is unique in many ways. The Bishop of Lagos is, as was said during the service, the first indigene of Lagos to become the Bishop of Lagos. And incidentally, he comes from Badagri, where Christianity first touched the shores of Nigeria about 180 years ago. So it is providential that a son of Badagri becomes the first Bishop of Lagos who is an indigene of Lagos State. Our congratulations to the new bishop.
in life. Mm -hmm. But the beauty of it is that we have the highest standard. Lord, we decree we upon this nation. We decree peace upon Nigeria. Receive illumination. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray every negative prophecy concerning your life is cancelled. Amen. Lord, we ask, oh God, for your healing. Cancer, we speak to you. Bow in the name of Jesus. Every siege, whatever battle, sicknesses and diseases, we pack and go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever that battle that comes your way this year, I pray you will dominate. Amen. I pray for you today. That situation will turn around for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Zeus, Zeus,